What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at my 89 hatchback that I put together a couple years ago. It's been sitting up for a long time. I'd say about uh, six months. I drove it a few times uh, maybe a month ago but other than that it's just been sitting around. I've been focused on the coop project and my Cobra, but I've known now for a little bit that it has an oil leak, so we're going to take a look at it, and I want to tell you some of my plans with the car and where we're going to go from here. The unfortunate part about this car is I do have to sell it. I don't want to sell it, but uh, things going on in my life right now. We're uh, kind of changing direction here, which I do not want to reveal at this moment, but there's big changes coming and big plans. But I hate to say it, but she's got to go. So once I get done getting this thing, back a hundred percent she's going to go out for sale so stay tuned guys if you're interested in buying this car keep an eye out so i got my hood removed i'll show you that in a second but this is my 89 hatchback i bought this car as a roller in palm springs the only thing i had in it was a dash I built this car from that. It's got a stock rebuild 302, stock heads, stock cam. It's got a Vortec V1 that sings. I did a custom air to water intercooled setup on it. It only makes about six pounds of boost, guys. I just wanted a nice, reliable car that I could take on a Sunday drive. I could even run errands with this car. I've done a lot of hardware store runs with this car. Uh, that supercharger is very loud. You can't even really hear the exhaust at idle. I've had a few other Mustangs that were heavily modified. I put a fat cam in them, you know, intake, heads, the whole nine. But the drivability was uh, very annoying. And the reliability was not always there. I've never had any hiccups with this car. I get in it, I turn the key, other than a battery dying. But other than some oil leaks that popped up, this car has been reliable and I could not ask for a better driving Mustang. So we're gonna fix some problems with it since it's been setting up. I gotta get some parts ordered. We're gonna do a little suspension work in the front. That's pretty much the area I haven't really touched. If you're unfamiliar with pretty much any Mustang, doing an oil pan gasket, especially on a Fox body, is a very tough deal without a lift, even with a lift. There's pretty much two ways of doing it. You can either get a engine, uh, they make this bar that goes from the sides here and you can hold the motor up while you drop the k-member and that'll give you access to the oil pan that's a lot of work especially on the floor or you can pull out the motor and do it that way that's the way we're going to do it because i want to get the motor nice and detailed and cleaned up and have it looking new like when i dropped it in here a couple years ago so we're gonna go that route. So I gotta pull all this accessory drive off, supercharger's gotta come off, that's coming off. Intake's coming off, AC's coming off. So we're pretty much ripping this whole thing apart. I got this car repainted. This is a factory, this is the factory color of this car. It's a 7N color code, it's dark shadow blue. Very beautiful color. I had an 88 GT. That was two-tone 
that I've restored. It had the gray on the body kit and it had the seven end dark shadow blue on the top. Very beautiful car, had the pony wheels. I had bought this car at the same time. I owned that one when I finished restoring it. And I decided I wanted to paint it completely blue. This was the same color. They were just a year apart. It had the two-tone, but I just went all blue because I wanted a different look, and I was pretty happy with it. Only thing I wasn't happy with is I had somebody color sand my hood, and they scratched the shit out of it. So that's why the hood's off. It's got to go sent. It's got to go get repainted. Let me show you the damage. Sometimes, guys, you try to save some money, and uh, it ends up not working out for you. You can see here that there's crazy amount of scratches on it. I took it back to my painter. I tried to have him buff it out, but fortunately it's uh, a little too deep in there. So I'm going to send it to him, just have him respray the, the top, and we'll be good to go. It's just only thing I hate about that is if you guys know about painting, it takes forever and it's out of your control. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. So. He'll get it done right, he'll get it repainted, and this thing will be looking brand new. So, I also developed a leak and the timing cover that wants to focus. There we go. So, that's got to get redone. So, it's just going to be easier to yank this thing out of here. That way, I can assess any other leaks there are and uh, clean it up, make it look beautiful again. Can't have her be all neglected like this. So, I was thinking about changing my headers to some long tubes, changing the exhaust setup, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. I wasn't going for crazy power here, guys. This thing barely makes 300 horsepower the way it sits. I just wanted something I could get in, turn key. That sounded good. I mean, 275 horsepower is enough to have fun. This isn't a race car, it's just, you know, street car that you can get in, turn the key, and uh, have some fun, so. I also have another video of me driving this car on my YouTube, so I'll put the video link in the description. Pretty cool, I got like a nice uh, point of view of me driving the car and uh, you can hear the exhaust and the supercharger. That's pretty much all you can hear is a supercharger. Please uh, excuse me for the mess guys. Like I said, she's been setting up. A little neglected, but uh, here's the interior. I did a little something different. Uh, a little like uh, two-tone action here some people hate it but that's my car so I don't care like I said this only thing this had was a dash in it when I got it so it's come a long way uh, I honestly I'm pretty much the only person that drives this car my girlfriend says it's too loud so you know I, rarely do I have somebody in the passenger seat and it's extremely rare that I'm gonna have anyone in the back so I just deleted the back seats I was gonna put some subs back there but I think the motor sounds way better than any sound system so <laughs> um, if I had a truck or something and you know, a cruise in that'd be sweet but uh, yeah just deleted that it's all nice and clean back there you can put your groceries you can uh, go to Home Depot Whatever you got, you got some space back there to load up some stuff. I actually had a brand new windshield put in here. And I think this happened like the first week of me driving. I must have nicked something or was behind a truck and I was pretty pissed because it's brand freaking new. But shit happens. You can only do so much sometimes and uh, life gets the best of you. Nothing you can do about it. But uh... You got full tips all the way back. So as far as parts are concerned, guys, uh, we can start with uh, 
oil pan definitely an oil pan gasket i don't think i have the oil pan supporting rails on there so that could probably be why uh it's leaking i don't know what happened there it must have just slipped my mind uh but that's unlike me usually i put all everything back how it's supposed to be so when i popped my head under there i was very surprised so oil pan gasket oil pan rails possibly a rear main seal it's hard to tell exactly where the oil's coming from but it's a hundred percent coming from the back of the oil pan gasket uh also my front timing cover seal is blown out when i put that harmonic balancer on it had a groove on it you know you got to think about this guys with that harmonic balancer spinning millions of times that seal is going to eventually work a groove into the uh, mating surface or the, the sealing surface and oil can sneak under that and start leaking out your motor so same thing with the rear main seal if you look at the back of your crankshaft where that seal sits on there's probably a groove there if you got over 100,000 miles so you could put a sleeve or you can replace crankshaft or in this case I'm going to just put a new harmonic balancer on there and uh, if it's leaking out the back of the crank we'll put a sleeve on it so we get a nice new surface um, also with the front suspension I haven't touched uh, the front suspension really I've replaced the rack and pinion I believe I did that uh, last fall um, I actually had a bad one out the box I had to do it twice but luckily LMR they shipped me a new one um, no questions asked so appreciate that but it was just it's just annoying when you got to do stuff twice when it's not your fault besides the point I want to get a solid steering shaft as well because even with a new rack and pinion and tie rod ends there's still play in that steering wheel and it's definitely from the rag joint in the steering steering shaft so you got to get a solid one there uh, we're gonna replace the front control arms and the front shocks this thing will be riding like new when I'm done with it rear suspensions already been gone through we got new springs new shocks new lower control arms new bushings all around the differential ears the upper control arm bushings from the chassis and to the uh, well yeah on the diff They're, they have been done already so we're good there um, yeah it just needs a little love guys and once this thing is all back together it's gonna be like a new car um, so I'm um, it's uh, I, I just can't when I sell this car I can't I can't sell it to somebody knowing that there's issues I want everything to be a hundred percent when I hand it over to somebody else because that's just the way I like to do things you know I'm an honest guy I don't like to hide anything I, I just it just makes more sense to do the right thing and have and give somebody uh, something that's worth everything they pay for and you know you can build a new relationship with that person and you know it's just the right thing to do so uh, yep next video I'll probably show you all the tear down and uh, we'll start ripping into it and, and getting that motor pulled and We'll see what's leaking. If we got to order more parts, we will. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my hatch. Uh, I do have a video of me driving the car, and you can hear it and see it go down the road. So if you are interested, go check out that video. I'll leave it in the description. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. And uh, if you like the content, you know, you know the drill. Like, subscribe. I'll be putting out more videos. See you guys later.